Welcome everyone to the Full Game Walkthrough Series, episode 138. Today, we start our Azteca journey. <laughs> I, uh, I've changed a lot, actually. Um, well, not really changed a lot, but there's a lot of things uh, to go over. Um, this is my new MOG for Azteca. Uh, my roots of the Bush team have never been more real. Midnight is ready. I have a new title. Um, and there's a few things to go over before we actually talk to Cyrus uh, and see what we have to do first. There's a lot of spells that I got recently um, in talks with friends about what I actually needed as myth. I got a few things for future PvP. There's still some things we have to get because uh, the journey... <laughs> there's still a long journey to get to... Uh, where I want to be. 100, of course. Uh, so, the stats going into Azteca, I thought I would do a gear setup, what we, what I have so far, and the spells I'll be using in the new ones. So, I'll have 74 damage, 39 resist, 100% accuracy going into Azteca, 174 crit, 180 block, 4 pierce, 66 power pip, 46 healing in. Midnight's fairies are going to do a lot. Now, I upgraded some of my gear. Um, and to get this set, I had to buy crowns. And I uh, got it from the Islanders Horde Pack. So, and I stitched it. So, the <laughs> I look tribal, but I look amazing too. I still have the yellow hair. Banana roots. All the roots combining into one. So, most important thing so far... Uh, is to have the hat and the robe from Waterworks, the Trixie set uh, for Myth, which is still the best, I believe, um, going into Azteca as of right now. The boots are the 76 crafted boots that you craft uh, in Avalon in the wild from that leprechaun. Forgot the, I forgot his name, but he's a leprechaun in the wild. And uh, no, wait, no, not the boots. He's the Athane. Wait, maybe it is the boots. I think maybe the boots are from Dundara. Anyway, these are from Avalon. Uh, <laughs> some of the best overall critical block, uh, resist, damage, health. Very important. Now, the most recent addition to our getup is the upgraded Frosty Stare Tiki Torch. I got the level 81. This is not necessary. Uh, I just did it because I feel like... I, I just wanted it, and I wanted to see if I could get it while I was getting the transmog. Well, we got it. So, level 80, 70 block, 75 crit, 4 pierce, really great stats. Uh, the Athame, once again, crafted from Avalon, level 76. Overall, some of the best. The horn-handled knife. Uh, the amulet, I highly recommend uh, if you save up. Uh, or if you have a birthday or something, or you just have money and you want to spend something and whiz, get the Life Mastery. It is the most important amulet, I think, for any school, just to have on hand, whether you attack, jade, solo, group, anything. Um, very important, as always. The ring! We actually got this ring yesterday uh, from the Keep of Ganelon instance uh, when we fought the white and black dragon in the crystal cove cave area the little pit i got this as a drop i used to have a semi-okay ring i'm pretty sure there's better ones there probably is uh but i haven't gone out of my way to see the check the bazaar yet um level 80 82 and so forth so and as midnight stats here triple damage 10 resist fairy I tried to find level 80 decks, but I couldn't find them in the bazaar. So maybe you craft them in Azteca. We might get some drops, hype. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, that's how that goes. Now, to get into some juicy things, uh, I spent five of my training points yesterday, team. Five. And one of them is into Vengeance. Uh, I was talking and trying to figure out, well, what is actually best since I do want to try and solo some parts of Azteca, you know, the majority, uh, what is the best thing? So, there's two things that I got. 
I got, well, just for the first two things, Infallible and Vengeance. Vengeance, I think, is really important for the high crit. Uh, just Vengeance is great overall. Crit heals and so forth. Uh, can be used in PvP, PvE. Uh, same with Infal. Uh, I already have 100% accuracy, so this isn't as necessary. Um, but I think Vengeance is the best thing to use as uh, if you're hitting solo, group, anything. These two are very important to have. And I was just talking with people and... Well, there we are. We got these two. Now, some other things which I'm not going to be using, maybe. It all depends on the circumstance. Uh, but to get the title Master of Monsters... Uh, I'm not going to go in depth of all the spells that you need, but a couple that I actually am. Mega Subdue uh, and then Subdue. Those two spells are not really that important. They really don't have a lot of use, uh, but you get all of the spells, I believe, up to Orthrus all the way through Celestia, Dragonspire, you know, all those worlds. Um, I'm sure there's a wiki on how to get them all, uh, but a couple of those, the Mega Subdue is from Celestia... In the floating island for example the mending minions and the siphon health and all this get them goods is in crocotopia in the secret shop vaporize is from the witch in the colossus boulevard uh shift i forgot where i got that but i know i i recorded it when i got the spell same with dimension shift uh not a lot of uses but you got it um and then your minion well up to orthorus i forgot how many of the spells that are so yeah i have that title master of monsters uh, but so those are the two of the other ones that I got the other three spells that I got are death I actually got doom and gloom and infection now those are gonna be for PvP I'm not gonna really use those at all maybe infection for certain bosses that heal but it's not really that important uh, I just got those so they're out of the way and I was saving a lot of training points and I spent them well um, so those are the things I think I'm actually missing one that I forgot to talk about, which is just gonna it's just gonna get me randomly. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, and I got Entangle, Life Dispel, which is also for PvP. And if I want to use it in uh, solo, we'll have to see. It's it's a really good thing to have um, as myth. I had to learn, I had to listen, and those are the things to have right now. Um, if you've been following exactly of how I've been doing, if not, well then. You know, it can be adjusted. The only mistake training point that I spent, as we always remember, is on keen eyes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a thing. Um, but now I'm starting to use treasure card feints, McMuffin spirit blades, the deck setup. Same with Earthquake. Starting to put in two Vengeance now. Everything else stays the same. My boss deck, uh stays the same with four vengeance and we'll make adjustments when we do get celestial calendar hype by the way uh we'll start using that um with the earthquake or frog combo and it will take over medusa because the majority of the bosses in azteca are stun immune so that's a thing now there's one thing i forgot to talk about which you're probably thinking blue what mounts are you gonna have well, there's two for sure that I'm going to have as of right now. One is the Ankylosaurus. This thing is a beast. Uh, this is this is one of them. Um, and then the Triceratops. So this is another one. We're going to go with this one first. Uh, he's also a beast. Um, so yeah, I am I am so ready for Azteca. Uh, hopefully all of you are excited, as excited as I am. Um, and I have three training points left over throughout while we level uh i have to save them for sharpen potent um and well i get my myth bubble for free the aura around myself uh but um then it's just on the top of my head of the other one i'm forgetting but anyway let's go talk to cyrus and start our journey team just a quick overview of what i have so far uh all right let's talk to him an old colleague of mine edward haley appears to be in trouble He's what you might call an Azteca serologist. You don't know what that is? Well, when you find him, feel free to ask him all about it. You can reach Haley's observatory via the Stella Itzamna. That's a large stone slab kept in the Royal Museum in Marleybone. Go there now and make sure he is safe and sound. Alrighty. 
Let's go to the Stella It's Zamna. <laughs> Beyond me. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to Azteca. I, uh, <laughs> way back in the day, I had a lot of fun. Uh, if you, for those who have been around for a while, the Road to 90 on Nate's channel, moons ago. Uh, let's go to Marleybone, right? Marleybone? Yeah. Royal, Royal Museum. I can speak. But we are ready. I don't really know... I'm trying to think of, like, future gear upgrades. Uh, even debating if I should even run Tartarus with the most recent edition of Darkmoor. I'm still on the fence about that. So we'll have to see in time. As we do with a lot of things. Oh my gosh. But I'm just really excited. Avalon was a lot of fun. Azteca is a notch above. Two more worlds, team. Where's this at? Oh, it's up here. We're making our way. Midnight had some uh, Captain Candle up this morning. Hello? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Some voodoo? <gasps> oh yeah, that's right. I remember this place. I think we have to defeat Goodness, some things. Yep. Those are some of Morgan's hideous bugmen. Quick, you better deal with them. Nightbringer! We crash! Okay. <gasps> the Azteca Sorologist. I can say that. Well, let's try and, uh... Pretty sure the first minions of Azteca have 3,000? So we'll have to see. Almost 3,000. Alrighty. Perfect. I'm gonna start using Vengeance first thing before my blade. First ever cast of this. <laughs> Maybe a little bit late to the party. Probably should have got it a lot sooner, but... I think now is appropriate. In between Avalon and Azteca, I would get it. Before Azteca, for sure. Alrighty. Let's blade it up. But yeah, we're at level 81 going into, which I think is an amazing level. If you're 80 or above, you'll have a lot easier time in Azteca. Alrighty. What should we do here? We got the bubble, we got Vengeance, Blade. I'm actually curious. I guess that we'll use this time to just hit next and see how much we do now with two Blades with Vengeance. I mean, 20% increase in crit, team. Crit, I think, will be very important in Aztec. Uh, we'll also have to keep in mind, for certain minions, we'll have to faint no matter what. If it's over 3k... You have to faint anyway. That rhymed. <laughs> I just realized that. Alright, here we go. <laughs> just looking at all the feathers on my head. Critical. The bubble worked. <gasps> I think we're pushing our luck though. Knock on wood, we don't want to jinx ourselves, team. <gasps> Stone block. That was fun. Alrighty. The Azteca Serologist. Getting better at saying that. By the spiral, thank you for saving me from those terrifying creatures. I had just received the most unusual visitor when those those brutes appeared and attacked. Yes, a Quetzal arrived with a message tied around her neck. What's a Quetzal? They're a type of winged snake from Azteca. Oh, I know those. They're all extinct now. Well, they're supposed to be. Maybe this one hadn't heard. Quetzals were known to be vicious and protective, or occasionally tame. I'll let you find out what type she is. If you gently collect the Quetzal from the garden, we can have a look at the message she's carrying. Uh, a little bit spooked, team, I'll be honest. <gasps> I used... Okay, for some reason... Yeah, I used to get so many of these. This brings back a lot of memories, these statues. Excuse me? You step up to the Quetzal. She's some sort of winged snake. A little bit cute, even. She seems to like you. I don't know about that. Edward Halley, what do we got? Yes, well done. Now try to slip the message off her neck. Excuse me? Ah, you got the message and didn't lose any fingers. Good, good. Nice, Quetzal. Clever girl. It says, Great Magicians of Bartleby, Azteca trembles in the shadow of Shababa. Boo-boo be praised. Please come at once for our salvation. 
It is signed by three names, Pakal Redmask, Tezcat Three Star, and Zalen Reed Walker. Pakal, I remember you very well. Why, there's a spiral key here. I thought they were all lost when Azteca was destroyed by a great comet a decade ago. But perhaps we were all wrong, and Azteca persists. Quick, let us look through the telescope at the top of the observatory. We're out for a journey, team. The top of the observatory. So yeah, the uh, the overwhelming... Oh, that's the egg that we have to get for in death, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same. I think that's the actual egg we have to get for Avenging Fossil, right, Pet? Yeah. A little bit fuzzy. I know it wasn't that long ago, but... Oh, here it is. You see a new spiral Whoa. world. Or more accurately, a very, very old world. There's the three points team. Right? Yeah. C note over here. Well, like over here. Uh, the crafting people over here. Uh, this is the entrance. The spiral door somewhere around here. Uh, to go to Cloudburst Forest. Well, the Zoltan Dock into the Cloudburst Forest. Uh, the swamp over there, and then some other get em goods. The comet that encircles the world looks like a bad omen to you. I'm a little bit spooked. I know the general layout to Azteca. What's up here? Like snooping team? I'm actually curious. What is up here? Excuse me? Silver chest. Interesting. I wonder if that's actually a housing drop. That'd be cool. Well, back to Edward. Getting goosebumps, team. Hopefully, we can actually go to Aztec. You were able to see the spiral world? For the longest time, I could only see a cloud of dust in the night sky. The Aztecosaurs are the oldest race in the spiral. Their ancestors lived in the first world before it shattered. I assumed Azteca was lost, but perhaps there is yet hope for the Aztecosaurs. A wonderful, creative, and fierce people. Mostly fierce. I'm reminiscing too much, aren't I? Maybe. You must take this Quetzal and her message back to Cyrus Drake at Ravenwood immediately. Well, there we are. We actually just go back to our home. Well... We're very close to going to the world, team. It's a beautiful day in the wizard world. The spiral. Got full potions. That's good luck. Oh, finally, the wizard returns. What do you have with you? A Quetzal. Remarkable. I had no idea Azteca still survived. It is a place of the oldest powers and greatest legends. Mm, this message you recovered is fascinating. Clearly a cry for help. Someone really should investigate and see what is going on. You would best bring this news to Headmaster Ambrose. Oh, the, the journey to the... You know, all of Azteca team can be summed up in a few words. Well, a few sentences. So the whole goal, well, how you get up to Boo Boo, you have to have the special ointment to go <laughs> up these lava stairs, I believe. That's one thing. Another one is Bush and two dinos. That sums up the world. Oh, hello, wizard. Did I just summon you? But it's an Cyrus amazing world. Sent you here? Is it myth-related? A Quetzal messenger from Azteca. You say the poor creature was being chased by Morgant's minions. Oh, very worrisome. Let's take a look at that message. Oh, my. A plea for help against the forces of shadow. Years ago, Azteca was cut off from the rest of the spiral by a great comet. Many believed it was destroyed, but I was not so sure. The spiral now reveals this world to us in its darkest hour. It falls upon us to act. Take the key this brave Quetzal brought us and travel through Bartleby's spiral door to Azteca. Find this Pakar red mask and bring light to drive away the shadows. Go quickly, young wizard, but be careful. I suspect Morgant's hand in this somewhere. 
I can assure you, she's heavily involved, Meryl. Looking forward to speaking to Bacall once again. Hopefully we don't have to have a collect get him good first quest. That'd be a little bit upsetting. The Azteca door team Boo Boo herself. The pyramids, the bush. We're going back in time. Welcome, team. <gasps> Pakal! By Mother Moon. Oh, I praise. Cannot, I believe it. I was afraid I would remain alone and be forced to see our light extinguished. I am Pakal Redmask, young magician. I am one of the three mystics who wove the spells that guided our messenger to you. But as you see, I stand alone at the edge of the City of Three Winds. My allies, Tesca Three Star and Zaylin Reedwalker, are lost. The comet Shibaba brought Boo -boo. the Shadow Queen to Azteca, and she has laid waste with her Umbra Legion. My allies are gone. I beg your help. Confront the crazed Thunderhorns in Three Points, beyond the Zocolo, to learn what happened to Tesca Three Star. The Zakulu team. This guy's grammar is off the charts. All right, let's go and defeat this, collect and defeat and collect this information. We can do it. I think we can get it the first try. We're pretty, we still, hopefully that luck will transfer. Well, there's Boo Boo team. It's kind of funny because I'm so used to on my death for many years, having the, uh, the comet actually, it's like pieces, like boom, boom, boom. It's like falling apart and whatnot. Spoilers, we destroy it, but you know, you know how that goes. Oh gosh, well we made it. So this is the three points team. Uh, take a swig of my tea. C note, the pyramid. I think there's some actually powerful bosses we have to face pretty soon. Sakulu. Uh, look at an overarching map of Aztec. Uh, Boo Boo, the swamp, the marsh, Alto Alto. Forest, Sea Note, Zoltan Dock, Mountains, Twin Giants, which is the uh, final places, the volcano and whatnot. And then we get like a beam and then like boom, taboo. And then, yeah. So, Azteca, it definitely is a step up above Avalon. And then these things right here are the schools, which will activate 82 to 86. I don't know the exact levels. Uh, but let's try and. Uh, if he can collect this information. Hopefully we get it first try. And I'm pretty sure these guys have over 3,000 some health. Um, we go first? We do. 2,000 some. But let's be honest though. The ending of Avalon with these like high leveled minions. With like the health. Or the ending for Aztec. Or er, Avalon. Excuse me. Alright. Let's use Vengeance. Gotta get in the habit of using that. And hopefully we draw it first all the time, which I think we will. You gotta love the Azteca drums, team. You thought Zafarias were good? It goes in. Alright. We don't need that. It's Blade. We'll double Blade... I don't want to rely on the crit as much because I feel like if you don't have... See, it's it's all RNG based because the times that you'll crit and the times you won't, it's a toss up. And I don't want to rely solely on... Um, hopefully we draw that perfect. I don't want to rely solely on crit, but I don't know. I don't want to waste that two rounds for faints. We'll start... Well, it's not really wasting, but... I want to try and be as, as speedily a word, as hasty as possible. Probably a better word. Crit block, thank you. 180 should be way enough. I mean, if we get crit on with that much block, that is true luck. That's really, that's, that's crazy luck. No enchant for earthquake just yet. Uh, I guess if we want to, we can time of legend. Hopefully find that Colossal next. Let's 
drums go in. <laughs> Forgot how actually intense they are. Firezilla. It'll be interesting to see how much health our first boss has. Which I don't think we'll get to the day, but we'll have to see. Is that a bird? Found our enchant. Alright, sweet. Uh, it's hit. I definitely hear a bird. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't see the screen! <laughs> Got that crit. The critical, it's... I'm leaning towards it. We got it. Shadows, chase him into the mall. Excuse me? Back to Pakal. Yeah, that's that. That pyramid's gonna be an ep all itself, team. That's gonna be a struggle. The beautiful waterfall, the dino. I know for a fact Pakal's not always inside of this cave. But this is beautiful, though, team. I've always loved how we start in uh, Azteca. Get the two statues over there, the water. Beautiful entrance. One of the top three in the entire spiral. Tesca fled into the mall. That leads underground where the hungry dead stir. When the comet Chibalba first appeared in the sky, ten cycles past, the Aztecas or oracles pronounced doom. So they fled underground to live in the mines and dwell among their dead. The Maw is the entrance to the caverns of the Cenote. But when the Shadow Queen arrived, the dead awoke and they were hungry. Let us be closer to the city. Meet me in the Zocalo proper. Things were loading there. Cleanse the feet a bit. Might be some time before we actually are back at the entrance. We go behind here? We can. Look off into the distance. There's the dock. It's quite a far... Quite a ways away. There's Zeke. Which we'll get at the very end of the world. Yeah, these little fountains are really cool. We're definitely an ancient times team. Where's Pakal? There he is. That's where I remember he always was. While the Shadow Queen has left the City of Three Winds, her Umbra Legion has agents everywhere. It is crucial we find Tesca Three Star down in the Cenote and make sure he is safe. You can get there through the Maw. Alrighty. To the Maw. The Cenote. To me, it's the Cenote. Is what it is. Oh yeah, it has like all the rubble in front of it. The Maw is blocked off by a ton of rubble. No easy way through here. It looks like it was deliberately caved in by something powerful. Maybe Pakal Red Mask knows another way in. Okay. The Tekka Coco Leaf, Shoe and Hat Trader. Look at some of this gear. Oh wow, it's like a pineapple. Yep, not as good as the stuff that we have. The Robe Trader. Proteca White Ash. You'll notice in Azteca, these people have some pretty interesting names. But legendary. Blocked off? What a dastardly diversion! Find the alchemist Shipley Tailbiter in three points. He's a bit... Uh, different. But he might have a good idea for clearing the path. Okay. Oh, I remember this cat. Do we have to like... Yeah, we actually... I think we have to collect that charcoal and whatnot. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's back here. He's hiding. Strange creature. Can you make an agreeable sound? Can you understand me? You need to get through the rubble to rescue Tezcat Three Star? Into the maw? <laughs> I can perhaps help you with that. If you will help me gather some ingredients, I can make you a strong concoction. Go to Lack Willow's Smoke Eye and ask for Salt of Stone. Then, Kanaka Sweet Chile for Sulfur, and Charcoal from Hoteca White Ash. And then, then you'll see Tezcat Three Star. <laughs> what a goober. Alright, let's go talk to Smoke Eye. 
The amulet trader? Huh. Shipley tail biter sent you for some salt of stone? I have some that's been boiled down, filtered, and sun-dried. Yes, you can have some, but, well, make sure you don't stand too close when he performs his experiment. I don't plan on it. Let's actually go down here. For some reason, I remember these crazed Thunderhorn people to be a lot closer. Maybe it's actually over here that they're a bit close. Gotta be careful. Alrighty. Sweet chili, please? You need some sulfur for Shipley Tailbiter? I would like to help you, little one, but the crazed Thunderhorns took it from me. Perhaps if you confront them in three points, you can get some sulfur from them. Well, team, that will do it for the introduction in Azteca uh, tomorrow. I'll collect these three and then we'll start tomorrow uh, conjuring up this brew or whatever we have to do for Tailbiter, one of his wacky experiments. <gasps> There he is, the person who's in the thumb team. He's warning of Boo Boo's imminence. Imminent threat. What a champion. So yeah, tomorrow uh, we might finish up in the three points, depending. Uh, possibly fight the boss that's inside of that pyramid. Make our way to the C-note, C-note, however you pronounce that. But leave a like if you've enjoyed. Uh, you can't really see me because there's a giant dinosaur, so I have to do like a side pan view. Uh, but anyway... Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, take care.